Today we're going to talk about strategies to get into UCSF Medical School. If you plan to apply to UCSF Medical School, rank number two in primary care and number six in research by US News and World Report, you're understandably feeling nervous about your odds of getting accepted. Nearly 8,000 high achieving students applied to UCSF in 2019 drawn by its prestigious position as a leader in medical education and innovation, as well as by its location in the culturally vibrant city of San Francisco. So you're competing against some of the best pre-med students from across the country. That's rightfully intimidating. Graduates of UCSF Medical School are highly skilled physicians who make their mark on the medical field and carry out the mission of UCSF to educate learners who will improve the health of their communities and alleviate suffering due to illness and disease in their patients. If you have an unquenchable curiosity and hope to pursue an innovative career in healthcare and medical science, UCSF Medical School might be the perfect option for you. But getting in won't be easy. But don't worry, we're here to help. I'm Dr. Eve Bishop medical school admissions expert at Shamasian Academic Consulting. In this video, we'll explore the degree and curriculum options offered by UCSF Medical School. We'll also look at the UCSF acceptance rate and admissions requirements. Then we'll show you how to write top-notch UCSF secondaries and prepare you for your interview so you can maximize your odds of getting accepted. Let's get started. Located in eclectic San Francisco, UCSF reflects the culture of its city through its constant quest for innovation, progression, and discovery. Nowhere is this more apparent than in its programs and curriculum. UCSF's Bridges curriculum is broken into three parts, Foundation 1, Foundation 2, and Career Launch. During the Foundation 1 phase, you'll go through 18 months of standard classroom learning, studying core subjects in four to seven week blocks. For example, there's a seven week ABC block, airways, blood, and circulation, a four week health and society block, and a six week brain, movement, and behavior block. At the same time, you'll work directly with patients through the clinical microsystems clerkship. Not every medical school offers its students a chance to gain patient experience from week one. So this is a major advantage of the UCSF program. During Foundation 2, you'll cycle through your core clerkships, including eight weeks each in surgery and internal medicine, six weeks each in pediatrics and OBGYN, four weeks each in neurology and psychiatry, and two weeks in anesthesiology. Plus, you'll have a longitudinal clerkship in family and community medicine, spending one day every other week in a family medicine clinic. You have many possibilities for your clerkship sites, such as Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital, Mount Zion Medical Center, and Children's Hospital in Mission Bay. After you complete your clerkships, you're given eight weeks to prepare for the USMLE Step 1 exam. Within the third and final phase, referred to as Career Launch, UCSF Medical School stands out yet again. After exploring clerkship electives, you'll take a 12 to 20 week break to pursue an independent mentored project. Students can develop projects on anything that's novel and interesting to them but many previous students have devoted their time to translational or clinical research, quality improvement projects, and systematic reviews. Thanks to the accelerated curriculum in Foundation 1, which is 18 months versus UCLA's 21 months, UCSF students get the dedicated time for pursuing scholarly projects, which sets them apart and prepares them to match in competitive residencies. That's an overview of UCSF's MD curriculum, and we encourage you to explore it further before applying so you can reference specific aspects of it in your secondaries. Beyond the typical four-year MD program, UCSF Medical School offers several dual degree options, including MD-MPH and MD-PhD programs. Students in the MD-PhD program receive their tuition fully covered and a yearly living stipend on top of that. If you're interested in becoming a physician scientist, check out our related guide on how to get into MD PhD programs for specific application tips. Link in the description below. Another program option is the UC Berkeley UCSF Joint Medical Program. Only 16 students are accepted every year. They earn an MS in Health and Medical Sciences from Berkeley, then complete their MD at UCSF. The five-year program is designed to develop physicians 
who are devoted to health equity and social justice. If you have a passion for public health and a strong aptitude for research, the JMP could be a great fit for you. In an effort to train physicians uniquely suited to meet the needs of urban underserved populations, UCSF created the Program in Medical Education for the Urban Underserved, or PRIME US. This is another five-year program, and students have the ability to choose which master's degrees to pursue between their third and fourth years. Prime US students attend special seminars and site visits, and their clinical settings are in hospitals that focus on underserved populations in San Francisco. If you're passionate about promoting health equity and working with urban underserved populations, you might aim to be one of the 11 UCSF medical students admitted to the Prime US program each year. Now that we've explored UCSF Medical School's unique curriculum and programs, let's look at your chances of making your UCSF dreams come true. Since UCSF is currently ranked number two in primary care and number six in research by US News and World Report, it should come as no surprise that it has an extremely low acceptance rate. In 2019, there were 7,846 applicants. Only 468, or 6%, were invited to interview, and 155 students, or 2%, matriculated. We can assume that the actual acceptance rate is around 3 to 4%, or between 235 and 314 students. So what does it take to get accepted to UCSF Medical School? Let's look at the academic metrics first. The median MCAT for accepted students is 518, or the 95th percentile and the median GPA is 3.85 for both science and total GPA. But those are the average statistics. Applicants with lower and higher stats were accepted, so let's consider that data as well. The 10th to 90th percentile range for the MCAT was 511 to 524, or the 82nd and 100th percentiles. The 10th to 90th range for science GPA was 3.48 to 4.0, and for total GPA, it was 3.6 to 3.99. How do your stats match up? Maybe you haven't taken the MCAT yet, but now you have an idea of the academic metrics of students at UCSF. Let's be honest, earning the average stats or even above average stats isn't enough to guarantee anyone's acceptance to UCSF Medical School. Wouldn't it be nice if it were that simple? Let's look at the other factors UCSF uses to evaluate its students. UCSF Medical School has specific course requirements to qualify for admission. These include one year of biology with lab, one year of chemistry with lab, and half of that year must be organic chemistry, one biochemistry course, and one semester of physics. Those are the minimum requirements, but to be a competitive applicant, you'll want to go above and beyond. Take at least one upper level biology course and a full year of organic chemistry. UCSF's goal is to train holistic-minded physicians who serve California's diverse population, so applicants who perform well in the humanities and can communicate in languages other than English will have an admissions advantage. But you're still wondering, what extracurriculars does UCSF prefer for its applicants? While no pre-med experiences are specifically required, we can look at the activities of matriculated students to answer these questions. 94% engaged in research, 92% had volunteer medical experience, 82% had a history of community service, 78% shadowed a physician, and 48% had paid medical experience. The best strategy to use for your extracurriculars is to pick something you're passionate about and go all in. For instance, if you dream of serving urban communities, revolve all your activities around that focus. Volunteer or work in urban medical clinics. Start a mentorship program for urban youth on your college campus. Lead healthy lifestyle workshops in communities designated as food deserts. Build strong relationships and networks in urban youth communities. Start pursuing your passion now so UCSF will know what gets you out of bed in the morning and what more you'll be able to accomplish with their resources. The bonus of gaining in-depth pre-med experiences is you'll have strong material to use for your secondaries. Now let's get into the most anxiety-provoking part of your UCSF Medical School application, the secondary essays. You'll find these are a little different from other medical school secondaries. You only have two prompts to answer, and they're extremely straightforward. So you have to use your creativity and conviction in order to communicate how your unique personality and strengths 
fit the mission and values of UCSF. You should also consider the seven core MD competencies set by UCSF. Patient care, medical knowledge, practice-based learning and improvement, interpersonal and communication skills, professionalism, systems-based practices, and interprofessional collaboration. Use your essays to demonstrate your strengths in several of these areas. Before we look at the first prompt, we want to encourage you to read our supplementary guide on how to get into UCSF Medical School after you finish watching this video. We've included full-length essay samples and explained why each one is successful. It's a great way to get your creative juices flowing when sitting down to write your statements. Link in the description below. Don't let the if you wish clause convince you this essay is optional. To be a serious candidate, you must answer this question. Remember, if you've acquired a wealth of extracurricular experiences, you'll have lots of anecdotes to choose from. But since the question is so open-ended, it might be hard to pick which activities to expand upon. The best way to approach this essay is to consider which passion or quality of yours hasn't yet been fully demonstrated elsewhere. Your application real estate is limited, so you want to make sure every available space is used to tell UCSF something different about you. For example, if your personal statement was focused on displaying your compassion and love of research, you might want to use this essay to show your leadership abilities and desire to work in an underserved area. Or perhaps you might demonstrate your curiosity, desire to collaborate, or ability to thrive in high pressure environments. Ask yourself what you want the admissions committee to know about you. Once you've chosen the quality to focus on, you can form your thesis statement for your essay. Then select three to five activities to use as evidence to support what you want to convey to the ADCOM member. But don't make the mistake of turning this into a resume listing. Connect your activities together into a story form. Let them build or lead into one another so it's a cohesive account with a clear theme. Make sure you link your experience and qualities to the specific opportunities at UCSF, demonstrating how you uniquely match the mission and values of UCSF medicine. If you're applying to UCSF as you go into your final year of undergrad, Skip this question altogether, but use the time you save to refine your first essay and make it especially strong. But if you're taking a gap year or you're a non-traditional applicant who's been out of college for a while, this is your chance to show how you're preparing for a career in medicine during your time off. Start by defining your goal for taking a gap year. A productive gap year has a set purpose that makes you a better med school candidate. After you form a thesis statement around your gap year goal, describe the steps you're taking in order to achieve it. What will you learn? How will you grow? How will your time off make you a better physician? What part of your experiences makes you uniquely suited for UCSF? The average UCSF student doesn't start med school straight out of undergrad. So if that's the boat you're in, you're not alone. And if you use this essay opportunity to impress the admissions committee with how well you've prepared to become a UCSF student, you'll have a good shot at getting an invitation to interview. If you receive an invitation to interview at UCSF Medical School, congratulations! Expect a full interview day that includes lunch, a campus tour, and free time to explore the campus. The interview is conducted in a closed file format, so your interviewers won't know anything about your background, activities, passions, or goals. You'll have two 40-minute interviews and two interviewers will be in each session. At least one will be a faculty member and the other might be a current medical student. So how can you prepare to ace your interview? Review your application essays and practice verbally retelling the stories you included in your written statements. The interviewers haven't read them, so you can use these stories as evidence for your best qualities and strengths. But you don't write the same way you talk, so don't try to quote sections of your essays. That's why you should practice sharing them in a conversation with a friend or classmate. For example, if you get asked about your career goals, your short answer might be that you want to become an OBGYN. But then you can retell the story you used in your essay about shadowing on OBGYN and developing a passion for educating women about their reproductive health. People remember stories better than facts, your interviewers included. You'll make a more memorable impression if you're able to integrate stories into your interview responses. Remember to show enthusiasm for UCSF and how you'll fit with its mission in your interview. Demonstrate your knowledge of all the opportunities available to you 
and how they match your career goals. Convincing the interviewers that UCSF is the perfect place for you and that you're the perfect student for UCSF will improve your odds of getting accepted. There you have it. Everything you need to know to become a competitive applicant to UCSF Medical School. If you follow the secondary essay and interview advice we've shared, you'll prove to the admissions committee that you're a strong match for UCSF and increase your chances of getting accepted to UCSF Medical School. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. And if you'd like to learn more about the med school admissions process, click the link in the description to get our free comprehensive guide, How to Get Into Medical School. The strategies in the guide are the same ones our team uses to routinely help students get into top schools like UCSF. All right, thanks again for watching. See you next time.